your rucksack looks something like this, maybe this could be the video for you. Let's try and lighten our loads together with these five generous YouTubers who've agreed to show us their favorite lightweight backpacking equipment. I went on them last and thank you to Mr. Wild Wales for featuring me on your channel. This, the jet boil, is my favourite thing to take on a hike and here's why. It's light, it's handy, so so useful and it's so easy to use so why not? All you've got to do is take this out of here, screw it on like so, Turn the gas on. Light a match. Leave no trace, of course. Pour your water into here. La 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 la. la. Put it onto here. Put the cap on and in two minutes you've got boiling water for a nice hot drink. Bearing in mind we're in lockdown, nowhere's open to get a coffee, so this is the perfect thing and I, you can't go wrong with it. I love it. So I've got some nice tea bags, Yorkshire tea of course, that is done. Turn it off. Got nice hot water for a cup of tea. You can't go wrong with that. Thank you again, and I hope you enjoy my little clip. Thank you to the Nottingham Lass. She's got a great hiking channel. She keeps saying she's gonna go camping soon, so go and check that out. My first item, first aid kit. Weighs hardly anything. You can pick these up for less than a tenner. Got all sorts of stuff in there. There's even a survival blanket in this one. Should always take one of those with you in case. Right, now we've got Novice Wild Camper who's going to show us a couple of things he's made. Okay, so this is my first piece of uh, ultralight equipment that I bring with me camping. This is the second version of my table uh, that I make. Uh, it weighs 73 grams. It's incredibly thin. You know, a centimetre and a half, maybe two centimetres. It just slips down the back of my pack. Um, weighs 73 grams, as I say, 12 inches by eight inches. Good, good solid base for, uh, for cooking on. I do keep a piece of foil inside. Um, just to protect the top because I use a, uh, an alcohol stove. If you're using a gas stove, you wouldn't need it. It probably doesn't need it, but I put it there just in case. Easy to operate. Pop the legs open. Fold it out. Fold the legs around. And there you have it. This will take five kilos in weight. The legs make it really stable. Uh, on uneven ground as well. Uh, the old version had a, a flat side, so this makes it much more stable um, and usable. I absolutely love this. Available on eBay if you want to buy one. So this is my second part of my ultralight uh, equipment. I have a Lanshan One Plus coming. It's not here yet, but uh, obviously it needs a trekking pole and I have also ordered trekking poles anyway, but I wanted to try something a bit more lightweight for it. So I got this off of eBay. There's a chap based in the UK that builds these, makes them to order to your specific size, thickness, weight, design, etc. This carbon fiber pole weighs 56 grams. Um, he's done it for me with a, like a, a, a tent pole, tarp pole type end. So that will go in the grommet at the bottom of the, um, of the tent on the connector and then this clicks in 125 centimeters if it should be strong enough for it to to hold the tent 
in, in weather, in bad weather. So um, time will tell and I will test that when I can. So yeah, item number two. Okay, so my final bit of a favorite lightweight or ultra light uh, camping equipment is my stove. So this is my homemade, some call it a cat can stove, tuna tin stove, fancy feast stove. And um, basically it's a small Tesco's tuna tin. Um, inside it is a Starbucks espresso drinks tin and then some roofing felt, uh, some not roofing felt, loft felt insulation uh, in between it. Uh, this works fantastically. It's its own pot stand, so you, you don't need anything else uh, on top of it. Um, it burns quite ferociously, so it's great for boiling water. The, it's about four minutes just over to boil half a litre, which is, is more than enough for most uh, either boiling a bag foods or uh, a very large cup of coffee. Um, and it has a boil or a burn time of about 12 minutes in total. That's using 50 mil uh, of fuel. So not, not a huge amount of fuel. Um, it's not as efficient as something like a, a Trangia, but uh, a Trangia doesn't boil this as quickly, plus you need a pot stand as well for a Trangia, otherwise uh, it'll snuff it out. So this works fantastically, as I said before. I put my foil on the table, put that on there, boil the water, have my coffee, eat my food. Um, cost nothing, literally. Um, you get a cup of coffee out of it as well, uh, and a tuna sandwich. So yeah, I've got a video on that if you want to watch it, uh, make one yourself, but fantastic little little stove for free, works really, really well. Excellent additions to any world camping kit. Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next one. Novice world camper, clue was in the title, he does some great wild camping. A summer sleeping bag. Now this is my first purchase I've made from AliExpress and it took about 10 days to come direct from China probably about half the price you'd pay in Britain 565 grams got a comfort rating of 10 degrees which is perfect for summer in this country and it packs into a bag this big it's called the Igus Max Nano Long I picked the long for my length but I don't think I really needed it. I'm six foot. Got a good half a foot in the bottom of the bag. Hello to Adam and his viewers. I'm going to show you my favorite piece of lightweight backpacking equipment. Now, lightweight backpacking is something I do very occasionally, but I do do it. And this pot and stove is my favourite piece of lightweight backpacking equipment. It's in a cosy to reduce cooking times. It's basically a titanium pot. It's the same sort of size as an MSR, but it's not an MSR. It's a, it's a Vago, I think. And in here, I've got a stove. And the good bit... I've actually got two stoves, but this one as well. It's a windbreak and pot holder all in one. Now it's been a while since I put this together. Now this is made by Storming Stoves and the guy he used to be on eBay and I think he's got a website now that claps down into this pot and you've got this stove that comes with it but to be honest with you I haven't used this much so it has been used but as an afterthought I bought this one now I've actually made a similar one to this you just put your alcohol in there and light it Another afterthought with this, and this is great if you're in a campsite or you're cooking on grass. So that goes under there. That goes there. That doesn't want to light. Because it's windy. 
Now it's lit. Now that's a cracking package. That is excellent. I have got an old Trangia simmering just to put it out. And another thing, what I carry with it is this gadget. And this is basically a one size fits all pot hanger. That goes around the pot. You can adjust it to size and then you can dangle your pot on a fire. Because I like fires. Cracking bit of kit. I'm going to use our water now and have a cup of tea. Thank you very much for watching. Keep watching Adam and it'll plug for me. I'm Rob Evans, Woodsman. Give me a whirl. ta -da. Right, thank you, Rob. He makes some amazing knives and he's also, he makes a mean fire as well. This news just in from Team, Team Valhalla. We've been asked today by Mr. Wild Wales to come to you with our two favourite pieces of lightweight hiking and wild camping uh, items of gear. Uh, so I'm going to hand you over now to my co-anchor, Mrs. Team Valhalla. It's over to you. Thank you very much, Mr. Team Valhalla. So my choice is this amazing mountain equipment down Artet jacket. Um, it was the down itself is animal welfare source, so it wasn't forcibly taken, it was gathered. It is absolutely amazing. It's one of the most lightweight things I've ever owned. It honestly weighs less than a pair of gloves. Um, and although I don't do it because I don't like to restrict it, you can fold this down into its own pocket. That's how small it can go. Um, and I was bought this because I suffer quite a lot from the cold. Uh, we used to go up mountains and things and when we were camping and stuff. And I found it very hard to enjoy the scenes. You know, you've, you've climbed a mountain, you want to sit there, really soak it in, take in the scenes. But often, anybody that's been up a mountain knows it is cold. So um, I was got this so I could enjoy those scenes and not just sit there shivering cold. I mean, it used to be awful. I just couldn't take anything in. And this is the warmest thing you'll ever feel. If you run a bit warm, it's not for you. But if you do run cold, this could honestly really make your time up in the mountains and wild camping an absolute joy. Another thing I really love about this jacket is that you can pull the toggles at the sides and you get that amazing thing where it doesn't ride up. So you don't get that horrible thing where you feel a draft going up the top like when you have your backpack on or anything amazing the pockets are huge it's something i really didn't think would be the case um, but they are massive you can put lots in these and they're really high rise as well so again when you've got your belt around you, you can still get all to, to all of your stuff in your pockets it's got an amazing hood it's almost like a, a duvet it's that good look at this Very smart. and it keeps all of your chin and the side of your face warm it keeps your ears lovely and warm it is fantastic and I've used this many a times when we're wild camping especially before you get into your sleeping bag you know it's start the you know the sun's gone and it's starting to really get dark but yet you don't want to get in your sleeping bag just yet this is ideal it's so lovely and warm and it feels so comforting that it's my favorite item and I really wouldn't go anywhere without it so over to you Mr. T in Valhalla thank you very much my favorite piece of hiking and wild camping gear lightweight would be my life venture thermal mug love these things take these on all our trips hiking camping um even the journeys up and down to the mountains and moors um it's absolutely fantastic thermal mug keeps uh, hot things hot and cold things cold what have you got in it then i have uh, half a cup of tea and two choc ices oh boom boom <laughs> but in all seriousness make a cup of tea in one of these and it should stay hot for up to six hours mm. depending on how much milk you put in obviously um, but yeah, they're, they're very handy, very versatile. You can make them pre-walk, mid-walk, and you know, as you're camping as well. Easy to deconstruct and, and keep you hydrated. You can take the, um, the rubber seal out, the lid off, get a good sponge in there and give it a good scrub down afterwards as well. So they will last you a long time. They're very maintainable. I have one of these that's about six years old and he still does the rounds with us to this day. Um, absolutely fantastic piece of kit and an essential in my eyes. Um, we're going to hand you back now to Mr. Wild Wells. So, Mr. Wild Wells, uh, back in the studio, it's over to you. It's over to you. Thank you, Team Valhalla. 
go and check them guys out. They got a good hiking channel and they bounce off each other. It's really fun to watch. This is my next item. Another AliExpress purchase. It's the 3FUL Ultralight Backpack. This is 850 grams. I haven't taken it out yet. Can't wait to give it a go though. It's 40 litre plus. They say that because of this roll top. Now depending on how much you're going to put in there, you can roll this right down. It's supposed to be shower proof. I wouldn't trust it in heavy rain. But if you're not walking far, that should keep the rain out. Hi guys, it's Paul from the Cumbrian Lead Outdoors here. Once again, I'm helping my main man, Mr. Wild Wales, out on a video. This time, it's on lightweight gear that I take camping. So today, I wanted to show you the Gerber Complete Utensil System. Now this weighs in at 64 grams, bang on the nose. And it's made up of four parts. So I'll just unclip it. Pop them down. Now the first part is a spatula. It's got flexible rubber on one side, about a quarter of the way across, then it goes hard, so you can get underneath your bacon or your sausages or whatever. It's got a serrated edge along one side, which acts as your knife. So unless you chop and steak with it, going through sausages and stuff like that, it works fine. And you get a fork and a spoon and you get this little uh, gadget here which is a potato peeler, a bottle opener and a tin opener. And what I think is really clever about this and it comes in really handy is you can either use the fork or the spoon and it goes into the handle part of the spatula to create a set of tongs that work really well. And it all clips together. And the little multi-tool clips in the top, at the back, and holds it all together nice and neat in your pack. I've used this for some time now. Um, and it goes on every camp with me. Really good bit of kit. Really handy. So thanks for watching guys. Stay safe. Much love from a Cumbrian lad. Cumbrian lad. He does some nice hammock camping and good reviews on his channel. Following on from the backpack. This is actually a frameless bag. So what you need to do. You add your sleeping mat to make the frame. Now this is my next lightweight item. Weighs just over 300 grams. Nice and comfy to sleep on. Easy to set up. And I'll also be using it as the frame for my bag. I hope this video has helped you out. I know I've taken some tips away from it. Make sure you go and check out them channels. They've all got something unique to offer. Till the next one, thank you for watching.